It has been a whirlwind few months for San Diegan Eric Weddle. The beloved former Charger came out of retirement and played a pivotal role in the LA Rams Super Bowl win before re-retiring. In his first in-person interview since winning the championship, I caught up with a 37-year-old at his new office, the Rancho Bernardo High School football field. Three little words to find this big personality with the big beard. Be the best. If you're not trying to be the best at whatever you're doing, then what's the point? Eric Weddle wowed San Diego Chargers fans for nearly a decade and is arguably one of the best safeties of his generation. It all started in San Diego, and there's a reason why this is home to us. While his career culminated with a fairy tale ending, there certainly was some drama when he departed San Diego. Once you do things to cross me, it's hard for me to ever come back from that. Chargers fans will recall the fallout between Weddle and the team. The team fined him 10 grand for watching his daughter's cheerleader squad during halftime instead of heading to the locker room. If I don't live with regrets, mm -hmm. uh, I stand up for what I believe is right. Weddle moved on, spent three seasons in Baltimore and one in LA before retiring in 2019. I was coaching my son's team. I was doing drop-offs, making breakfast, lunches. <laughs> you were doing the dad thing. Yeah, I mean, I was, <laughs> I was totally content and happy. In mid-January, Weddle got the call from the LA Rams defensive coordinator. He gets straight to the point. He's like, hey, you're not fat and out of shape, are you? <laughs> Were you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, and and I <laughs> I immediately started thinking like, here it comes. Yeah, what's coming next? The Rams defensive backs caught the injury bug, so the team asked Weddle if he could be ready for a game in less than a week. Am I really the best option you guys have? <laughs> you know, because I've, you know, I'm two years removed. Sure. Like, it's not. This doesn't. It's just, it was just crazy. Weddle immediately called his wife Chanel to discuss this wild proposition. And at the very end, I was like, so what do you think? And she's like, pause for a second. And she's like, she's like, babe, if anyone can do it, you can. That was the moment Weddle was all in. He put in 16 hour days at the Rams training facility. And I put on nine pounds of muscle and put and drop like 3% body fat in eight days. Weddle went from the Rams practice squad to leading the team in tackles during the team's playoff run. It wasn't because I'm just some freak athlete. It's the hours and hours I put in to making it happen. During the Super Bowl, Weddle suffered a brutal injury to his pec muscle, yet he stayed in the game. After winning it all, his wife and four kids met him on the field, and he announced he was re-retiring. I put my life on hold for five weeks and went on this crazy adventure. Has Disney reached out to you for, for like <laughs> no. the movie rights to this? Because this was like a real life movie with you. It was, you know, my agent, I love him to death. He's like, come on, we gotta do this. We gotta patent this. I'm like, David, stop. Okay, we don't need no movies. Are you ever gonna go back to the league? <laughs> no, no. I gotta no, ask no. because <laughs> the third retirement isn't in the, isn't in the cards. <laughs> oh gosh, well, you know, if somehow the moon and the planets aligned, <laughs> yeah. and then somehow the stars like disappeared. So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> no, there's zero Nothing. chance. Okay. This because uh, listen, I had four games in me. <laughs> that you, was it. You poured everything. I gave every those. play, every moment to yeah. this team, and uh, and you went out on top. I went out on top. But he isn't completely retired. So pretty soon, Eric, uh, you'll be running the show here. Yeah. This right. fall, Weddle will co-coach Rancho Bernardo's football team. He'll take over head coaching duties the next season. We know who Eric Weddle is, the player, but who's Coach Weddle going to be? What's oh, wow. The yell scream type? No, the, no, no. Uh, I'm, around with your hands. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a cool, calm, and collective type. I am very intense, yeah. and, and I demand greatness. Eight, the winner. Eight years ago, when CBS 8 profiled Weddle's family, he unknowingly dropped a head coaching job hint while discussing sports and taking it easy on his kids. Now, when they get in high school and I'm a head high school coach and he's playing under me, it's going to be a different story. <laughs> Weddle's son, Gage, now 12, is quarterbacking his youth football team, which Weddle coaches. Weddle's be the best motto won't change at RBHS, but the beard has changed a bit. You just trimmed it recently. I, did. I just trimmed it. You know, I'm 
becoming the new head coach here soon, well, so I gotta okay. look. I gotta look somewhat respectable. <laughs> Can't have a crazy beard all the time. As for that crazy journey over the past few weeks, it's a ride Weddle says he couldn't have done without San Diego's support. I felt like it wasn't just me winning; it was all of us. Right, the, the team left us. They kicked me out. They left the city, and then now to come full circle, I felt like. Uh, it wasn't just me winning the Super Bowl, it was everyone in the city of San Diego and everyone that's had my back throughout my career. <laughs> a Super Bowl win for you, San Diego. <sighs> Seriously, I mean, that is a great man right there. And I met him years and years ago, Eric. His beard was this long and it was like blonde <laughs> at the ends. <laughs> And he said he wasn't going to shave it until yeah. he won a Super Bowl, well, but then he shortened it a little. Uh, I asked him about that. Yeah. I asked him about his beard, whether he would um, shave the beard mm -hmm. if his varsity team wins the state. We're going to share some of those <laughs> moments for you Monday at 6 a.m., but you can watch our extended interview with Eric Weddle today on our free CBS 8 app on Roku, Amazon Fire, and on your mobile device. So it was a, it was a fun interview. And actually, bet. the interview was interrupted in the middle of it. Oh, yeah? by the loudspeaker at the school there. Also check out our extended <laughs> coverage for that. Uh, you had to pause. Little pause. Okay. Yeah. He's, he just seems so fun to talk to. Great that guy. was great. The two Eric's together, yes. just shimming it up on the football field. And again, he spells it the right way. Yep. That's mm -hmm. how we uh, got this interview going. <laughs> E-R-I-C. So that was, uh, it was awesome fun. to do. I'm so glad yeah. you were able to do that. What a that. guy. And he took us through a wave of emotions. And to say that he won this for San Diego, I mean, the team left us, but Eric's got our back. For so, a decade. There you go. This place has had his back, and he did not forget that. Yeah. And this is why he calls it home. So congratulations to San Diegans. <laughs> Seriously, it's our Super Bowl. Can we claim that? There you that? go. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yes.